everyone, welcome back to the Yandere Simulator demo. We're continuing with Osana's elimination methods. Last time, I believe we, uh... What did we do to her last time? Maybe we crushed her, maybe we... I think we expelled her, right? That's what we did. So this time, since the expulsion one was kind of long, I figured this time I'd do a pretty short one again. We're going to drown her. So right away, let's get into it. I'm gonna go to town, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to town. Don't know why I, my voice decided to stop working halfway through that. And I'm gonna buy the stealthy black panties. That's right. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the stealthy black panties because they make the uh, field of vision smaller for each student. All right, and then we're just gonna go to school because we don't need anything. Um, the stealthy black panties are actually incredibly helpful. When it says it's, it makes the student's field of vision smaller, it's not kidding. It's ridiculous what you can get away with when you're wearing those and how, how people really don't see anything that's in front of them. And I don't think we're really going to need them for this one. I think we can do this elimination method without them. But I just want to have that extra edge. I think it might help me out just a little bit. Alright. Here we go on Monday. Oh, I, do I need to get a picture of Senpai? No, I don't. Yay. Because I've just been resetting my week instead of going to the new, f going to the main menu and creating a whole new save file. I've just been resetting my week and it saves my pictures of Senpai. Anyway, I need info points right now. Let me in. Perfect. And let me in. I owe you one. Okay. I am wearing them, right? Yeah, okay. I... I'm constantly forgetting to actually equip the panties when I buy them. Alright, so I, th I think I have enough to get the lockpick now. That's what we need to get. What do you need? For you to change your ugly ass haircut. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright. Cool, okay. That's all I need. And then I can, I might as well do this while I'm here. Good job. And I need to go over here and steal the emetic poison. Now, um, I'm not sure if this method actually works or not. The method that I have in mind for drowning her. If it does work, I don't think Yandev intended for it to work this way. But I think I have a little loophole I can use to drown her quickly and easily with no witnesses. Or very few witnesses, anyway. Um, you'll see what I mean. But I'm not actually sure if this is going to work or not. I tried this method once before, and it did work, but it turns out that Raibaru got glitched and she wasn't actually following Osana around like she normally does. So I don't really know, I still don't know if it works or not, because last time I just got lucky and Raibaru glitched out. So I really, really want to find out for sure if this actually does work, if this is actually a viable method, even without Raibaru glitching out or if I will get my arm broken. So you'll see, we're gonna pass time for Osana to put her lunch down because we need to poison her. Anyway, you'll see if it works or not. Actually, if you're seeing this video, that means that it did work. So spoiler for you guys, you'll already know, but I have absolutely no idea if it's gonna work or not. All right, let's get these two bozos out of here. Hmm. Shut it. Gonna put that emetic poison in there. She's gonna get poisoned. Okay. So now I think all I need to do is go to lunch. I'm gonna pause for a second. Hold on, I need to clear my throat. Okay, I apologize. Uh, I was literally about to choke if I didn't do that, sorry. Okay. Here we go. And Osana's gonna eat her nasty food, and we're gonna go wait for her in the bathroom, because that's where we're gonna drown hmm. her. Right in here. Oh, this isn't the this isn't the third floor bathroom. This is the second floor bathroom. I'm a fool. Here we go. The one with the the ghost. Hello. <laughs> okay. Anyway, hi Sumire. I'll see you in 1980s mode. So, you might be wondering. How am I gonna drown Osana with all the witnesses that gather in this bathroom? Won't they see me drown her? Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna go in here, Osana's gonna run in here, I'm gonna go in after her and I'm gonna close the door. 
then I'm gonna drown her, and then wait in here until those witnesses go away. Oh, hello, witnesses. What's up? Um, now I do know how to- What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that thoroughly distracted me. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I do know how to get rid of these people. I know how to distract them. It's just really tedious because I have to spend the entire morning running four different distractions up here in order to get rid of them during lunch. So I want to try it just see, just closing the door and see if I can get away with it by just closing the door. The first time I did it, they didn't see a damn thing. Closing the door actually works, but Raibaru didn't run to Osana afterwards. That's the problem that I have. I'll explain more after she actually gets down here, which she should soon. Eventually. Let me go check on her. Osana? She's still talking to him. Hurry up. Hurry up. Wow. Thanks, Alvin and the chipmunks. Okay, come on, Osana, hurry up. My goodness. All right, now I know, gotta go. Anyway. <clears throat> I, I think it's pretty hard to explain without you seeing what I'm actually talking about, so hopefully this will become clear, more clear as I go on. Uh, but this closed door does actually hide me drowning her. I've tried it before and it works. But after I drown her, as soon as it hits end of lunchtime, Ryburo is going to sprint down here and pathfind to her corpse, and these people are still going to be standing here, so I'm going to have to time it very carefully, get out of the stall as soon as these people turn their backs, but before Ryburo gets here, or I'm totally caught. And last time, Ryburo glitched out and never actually came down here, so I still don't know if it really can be done. Also, last time when I was recording it, I forgot to move the camera, and the entire time I was drowning her, you were just looking at a bathroom stall, so the footage was basically worthless anyway. Oh, here she comes. Hey, what are you? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> See? See? It works. The stall door keeps them from seeing it. So now, all I have to do is wait for the end of lunch. But, um, like I said, if I wait till the end of lunch, Raibaru, as soon as it hits 122, is going to sprint down here to Osana's corpse. Meanwhile, these people are going to slowly walk out, so I have to wait. I have to time it very carefully, so that as soon as they turn their backs and can't see the body, I run out here before Raibaru gets here. And like I said, last time Raibaru, Raibaru glitched out, she never actually came down, so I still don't know if this can be pulled off or not. But hey, at least I remembered to uh, aim the camera in the right spot this time. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing and wait until lunch is over and then I'll come get you guys. Okay, so I just had a heart attack. Uh, I accidentally opened the door. Watch this. Fucking nothing. Nothing. They don't care. They don't care. These stealthy panties are the shit. I'm telling you, they don't see anything. Oh my god, I, I could technically just leave now. But I'm still gonna wait for Ryburu, just just to see what happens. Just to see if I could do it without these. Anyway. <laughs> I gave myself a heart attack doing that, but uh, any uh, back to back to back to waiting. Okay, so now it's 1:21. I stopped the clock early so I can have time to uh, get out of this stall before Ryburu shows up. Got to time this perfectly. As soon as those girls get around this corner, I got to slide out of here. Okay, it. Um, I can't speed up time or I'll open the door again. Wait, if I get away from it, maybe I can. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Uh, sweet spot where I'm not touching any buttons. Fuck. Okay, never mind. I can't do that. Anyway, they're about to start walking away anyway. I just wanted to make sure I couldn't speed up time because if I did, I wouldn't have enough time to uh, get out. Okay, here we go, here we go. Moment of truth. Aha! I did it! Finessed. Excellent. See, even if I didn't have my stealthy panties on, I still would have been able to get away with it. I got here way before, or I got out way before Raibaru got here and they, the two girls were already right here, so they wouldn't have seen the corpse anyway. Now, Raibaru should show up, right? Raibaru? No? Did she glitch out again? She glitched out again! This is exactly what happened last time. She just never showed up. Now watch this. Now she's gonna run to Osana. Okay, well, 
fine. If she glitches out every single time that I drown Osana during lunch, then I'm not gonna- I still think I would have been able to get out of here fast enough. But anyway, if that's how it works every time, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, Osana? What's wrong? Are you hurt? Osana! Oh my god! Osana, answer me! Wake up, please! Wake up! Don't do this! Oh god! This can't be happening! No! No! You done? You done now? Let me just, uh, give you some privacy there. Alright, I'm gonna go report a corpse to a teacher. But yeah, that's exactly what happened last time. I drowned Osana and Raibaru just glitched out. She stayed on the rooftop staring at her phone and never said a word to any- or not- never said a word to anyone. She never came down to the bathroom. And if that's the way that it works every single time, there's nothing I can do about it, man. At that point, it's not even a glitch, it's just an accidental game mechanic, because she has done it every single time. So if that's how it works, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, you saw me open the door right in front of those girls, so clearly I could have gotten away with it no matter what. Anyway, that's Osana's drowning elimination. <laughs> Let me report the corpse. Hey! Police arrive. The police determined that Osana and Najimi died from drowning. The police treat the death as a possible murder and search the school for any other victims. The police are unable to locate any corpses. Unable to locate murder weapons. Question me. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh my god, this police music is loud. Yeah, okay, that's, that's her drowning elimination method. I'm gonna... Since this is a pretty short video already, I did promise to show um, Osana's funeral a couple times, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna skip through the rest of the week and all that jazz and show you the end menu thing. But for now, we're just gonna go to school and see the funeral real quick. No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. God, the pavement is blinding. Okay. Yeah, I promised to show Osana's funeral at least once in, in its entirety, and I figured since this is a short video, I might as well do that. Tack that onto the end. And, uh, there's Raibru looking so sad as always. I think her routine changes when Osana dies. I mean, like, I'm 100% sure that it does, obviously. But let's go see what it is real quick. I think she goes into the courtyard and just pouts. I'm pretty sure. We'll just take a quick look. Where do they sit normally? Right here. Okay, they're over here. So, let's pass time and wait for Raibaru to get her ass in here. Or not, I guess. Okay, there she goes. Oh. Look at her, she's so sad. I'm on the bush! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hold on, Raibaru, this is important. How did I get here? <laughs> what the hell? Alright, bird's eye photo. Cool. Yeah! Ahem. <clears throat> Let me just, uh, I have an opportunity here and... Yeah, there we go. Cool. Excellent. Hi, Raibaru. What's up, honey? I can't talk do your task? Oh, I can only socialize with you. Alright, well, that's it. I'm gonna go skip to, uh... The- I'm gonna go skip to the end of the week, and then I'm gonna show you guys, uh, if Senpai says anything different in the ending cutscene- Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Day's not over. Can't go home. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I'll show you the ending cutscene if Senpai says anything different. If not, I'll just skip straight to the menu and show what new cool graphic thing we got. Oh, there's a little flower on her desk because she's dead. Ha ha. Funny. Okay, here we go. Let's see what Senpai says this time. My childhood friend Osana. She was murdered. I can't believe someone could do this. 
I miss her so much. I don't understand how I could possibly go back to my normal life after something like this has happened. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, oh. I mean, Senpai has said that before, but last time he said it, it was when the police said she was definitely murdered. Because it was when we dragged her, we tied her hair to the weight and put her in the pool. And the police were like, she was definitely murdered. And then Senpai was like, she got murdered. But in this case, the police said they treat it as a possible murder. So they never said for sure that she was murdered. But Senpai is still assuming that. Interesting that he just immediately jumps to that conclusion. Anyway, now I'm going to skip straight to the main menu. Alright. <laughs> Look, she's dead in the fountain. That's hilarious. I know you can drown her at the fountain, they were probably expecting you to drown her at the fountain, but it's just so much easier to lure her into the bathroom than to go to a fountain, like, make her- set up her note, get rid of Raibaru, all that bullshit. Anyway, short though that may be, that is Raibaru's drowning elimination method. Next time we'll get into something a little- not Raibaru, what the fuck did I just say? <clears throat> Restarting, that was Osana's drowning elimination method. I'll drown Raibaru eventually, just not now. Anyway, next time we'll get back to it, probably to a longer one, a longer elimination method, and then um, continue right along. So I'll see you then.